Welcome back to these unfortunate ones. We are going to explore the backyard and see what we might find out here. More guards with lanterns, of course. I hope he doesn't come all the way out down this way, because that would be unfortunate. It looks like it might be... about Nobody. That was very nearly unfortunate. He didn't really leave me much of a choice. Thankfully his lantern went out when it dropped. That's... Otherwise I probably would have been caught by that archer. Mm. Noisemaker. What use do I have for a noisemaker? I don't know. Anything else of value down here? Not really. Ah, oh, this is the well that I came in from four. What am I running into? Oh, the trees, because very large big box. And this will be the guards' quarters then? I guess. Captain Leoric, what's with the shady types hanging around the basement as of late? Did the Lord invite particular guests over from some of the girls? Or is something else going on? Why were we specifically instructed not to enter certain rooms in the basement? If we're the Lord's personal guards, shouldn't we have access to the entirety of the building to properly, you know, guard things? Can we discuss this after our next shift? P. Okay. Basement access is... Thing... Leoric, truth be told, I haven't been feeling too comfortable with some of the other fellows lately. Since the newly recruited guards came to work with us, the atmosphere has changed. I mean, sure, they like a cold one after this shift, just as we do. But I've heard rumours. Silverware that has disappeared, cussing and swearing at the house staff, and the rumour of a burglar caught red-handed who, instead of having been arrested, seems to have vanished into thin air. We go way back, you and I, and I hope you don't take this personally, but I'm thinking about resigning and joining the City Watch. Maybe that's an opportunity for you as well, with all your experience. Think about it. We'll talk soon. Ah. Right, silverware going missing, huh? I mean, nobody's stashing on the rafters, have they? Doesn't look like there's anything on the rafters. You never know. Always worth checking. Nothing, I guess. Oh, well. Pretty brightly lit here. Just surprising to me. Now, is there anything of value up here? Or am I just risking my life and limb for nothing? There's a guard who saw me. I don't know where he's gone, but he better not come back here. I don't know if he... Eh, here he comes. I mean, all the way here, is he? No. He saw nothing, man. I can't believe I lost him. Come back here and fight! Alright, he's given up. Well, that does make it very dangerous in there. 
Hmm. I guess he ran out the back doors, right? Yeah. You know the back doors around that way. I want this guard's arrow. Try to get it when he turns around. And there we go. Well, no, that's him. I don't mean when he spins around on the spot. I mean when he starts going back up towards the, the house. There we go. That's, that's our moment. And now we see what's around this side of the house. Nothing. No moss growing on these plants? Okay, so this is not really helpful for us. A little more backstory. Notes about the basement being locked, but we knew that was already we already knew that was locked. Any point climbing this? I don't think so. Don't see anything. Right, well, the arch is looking the other way. Let's uh, carry on back to the back door. Oh. Okay, no, he can't open it. I thought it was locked and he was stuck trying to get back in. I see a banner I haven't dropped down. Hearing me on this tiny patch of uh... Do you have a key on you, mate? I don't think so. It's the captain of the guard is. Okay. Now I can do this. Oh, well, great. Good job, Garrett. Excellent work. Where am I going now? That's the question. Dining room, parlor, music room have not looted. Oh, the servants' quarters is up there, right. Hmm, library I've not been to. Oh, she's coming back. Oh, maybe I should just keep going around upstairs, because I don't think I've finished upstairs. And with all the guards, especially that riled up one. Uh, in the foyer, angry at me. Oh. I forgot, we don't really have good access to the foyer, do we? Is this room... Did I loot it thoroughly? I think I did. So, oh, this is still the southern section. Hmm. I don't know, how am I going to get around here? Any kind of reasonableness, I don't know. Oh, this is the balcony again. All right, well, this time we can come up here and check out the northern half, right? I know we already came here. So from here we can see that building, which clearly looks like a uh, an important place, but apparently isn't. 
So wait, is this going to just be a fail again? Trying to jump across there, probably. So I think we're going to have to try to go through this guy's bedroom. To get to the rest of the mansion in this section. Oh, right, we've been here as well. Did I read everything here? Yes, yes, yes. And then what happened? Something bad happened? It's my memory. We got chased. Or something. I don't know. I've not been here. Let's just loot the tests. Hello, four faces. Elemental faces, and this is the library. Hello, what have we got here? Candlesticks. Neat storage place. Brief History of Spies Dead, Part 3. The Accolade by M. Rome Romeo. Oh, hello. Someone's tucked valuables away in between the uh, bookshelves. Always nice for me. So we didn't find the attic access, or the, uh, whoops, I guess that's right. Or the balcony access, but no, we've been to the balcony, we just haven't been to the attic. Brief history of Spice Dead Part 2, hello, what do you got there in the window, so... <sighs> One of their parents and caretakers, outline of family values and traditions. We have lights if we want them, but I think not. Hello, what's, what's this book? I'm right, Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 97. sure guards walk this hallway that we saw some through that diamond shaped window before, right? Well, the wire to the light came from this side, but I don't see where it went to. Hmm. I was hoping to see where I could turn the lights up from. Ah, that one goes up there. Maybe they both come to this corner. Oh, the lights are going all over there. Oh, you're not the guy with the key, you're just some rich harumpher harumping his way through. Cutting across the corners, which is dangerous for me. You're the guy with the key, I think. Yes. Don't see me, man. Don't see me. Dang it. Well, I can see you better. Back to business, don't you think? I don't like me come find you. Once I find you, I'm oh, docking right. your pay. Stop for sure. <clears throat> Where are you? Pile of bodies. 
They're all just sleeping. You know... There's probably a smarter way to do that, but... Look, I'm getting results, alright? I'm getting some results. <laughs> Just walks in past a pile of bodies without even noticing. Everybody coming in walking past a pile of bodies. Hopefully she won't see these bodies now. Is that you, sweetie? <gasps> Help, someone! There's an intruder here! Ah. Uh. Ah. You won't laugh for long! Over here! Ouch. I was very hurtful to my feelings, man. I need your key. This is not the time. Apples are not helpful. Bread is not helpful. Cursed relic is certainly not helpful. And I don't think there was another uh, healing potion. Well, the fruit will be alright. Okay, well, let's get down. And let's make sure we have another quick way up. In case somebody comes back to chase us here. Music room, hello. Well, how staff. Whoever is responsible for arranging our most recent musical entertainment. For builders' sake, make sure the artists will actually play music that adequately fits with the mood we're trying to set. This particular group of musicians, performing under the name In Extremo or something similar, apparently found it necessary to perform songs with provocative lyrics criticizing the band's regime. The audience was shocked and appalled, and I, as the host, felt humiliated. So I'm not taking this risk anymore. Please hire musicians who only play instrumentally. That means without any lyrics. I don't care if you are only able to hire one musician, even if it's just some music guy you've encountered who is busking in the streets. As long as there's no more singing. Hopefully I've made myself clear. JD. Uh, just some music guy, of course, being the uh, name of the mission author. So, uh, it's a fun reference. Oh, have I got a piano at all? Is there anything behind here? Or is it just curtains as a backdrop to the stage? It seems to be just... Backdrop is not a valuable flute. Worthless flute, okay. Let us nab those. They're not gonna fall, these are not gonna break, are they? Oh, they are. What was with the one in the stairway that didn't? I don't know. Well, let's relocate our mess to the music room, it's probably safer there. I mean, it's not like we've been a ghost. People know something's up, right? But we can have less of the knowing of something being up, I think. Unless you're coming to the music room, I mean, that would be a problem. Help! Well, there's the basement key we needed. You know what? You can join these other fine people here. Was of course going straight to the music room. Just to be maximally inconvenient. Uh. Oh! This is Jean Demond himself. What's the names on the others? I wasn't really paying attention. You know what, you can have pride of place on stage. He's unconscious body. Your unconscious body. At least they're not related to Mr. Corpse. Your unconscious body, and one of you guys had the keys, which is interesting. To 
be just an unnamed person with a key to the house. An important key to the basement. How odd. Well, I mean, I guess we've probably got most of the guards and inside the house asleep, so... Probably not necessary, really, for me to do, keep doing this. And this is Lady Jacqueline, is it not? Yep, Jacqueline de Monde. Uh, yes, what was that note that someone said? Uh, that Jean Dumond likes to uh, pretend he's some kind of man of the world. Yes, I get the pun now. I did not pay attention to that before. Good work, I approve. Uh, anybody who names... Whoa, is that a valuable mask? And can I... Get it. Apparently, if it is valuable, I can't get it. Guests and Prospect List. James Borthwick of Borthwick Enterprises, Ebenezer Searching Private Collector, Matthias Baker, Dealer in Antique Weapons. K.S. Demetrio, Architect and Contractor, Not Interested. Henry Yarbrough, Private Collector. Frederick Webenheim, Co-Owner of Southport Curiosity Department Store and Merchant Guild Member. Oh shit, the guard out the back saw me. Well, we're gonna have some more visitors here in a minute. All right, we can throw a hammer at him. Oh no, he might just not see us up here. Brightly lit room. They just seem to be patrolling, actually. Shit, you're one of them. Just you wait. Just you wait. I'm waiting. You ask for it now. Oh, there's the guy from the backyard. I'll find you. Just you wait. Brothers work as guards here as well. <laughs> Run away. If I poke you full of holes. When I find you, you'll it. Yeah, I bet. I don't really have anything to deal with the uh, unbunkable guard. Except just to avoid him. This guy I could knock out. And maybe will, because he's a backyard guard who's going to see me again if I'm not careful. Okay, you tapper. I'll find you. You can join the other guests in the music room. Just a big pile from there. All right. Well, I have two ropes now to get it back up with, so. My hatred of glass windows remains. I like that, that's neat. Oh, hello. And I thought there's something behind it. Don't 
dining room. Okay. Map. So we've done the music room parlor, library. We haven't been to the servants' quarters. So the dining room is the last room on this floor that we have not explored yet. Then we'll have all this valuable stuff. Golden Dagger of Moa Ran. Hmm. Sounds valuable. Sure would be nice to have. Okay, so the dining room that connects directly to the stairs, which I do need access to the stairs, but I'm going back up on these, uh... Oh, did I take the rope down from here? I guess I did. Alright. I'm going back up on these beams. Because <laughs> I saw what looks like a passage... Whoops. Don't know what, what I was doing there. Uh, as I was saying, I saw what looked like a passage. I'm gonna get seen by the backyard guys again, aren't I? <laughs> well, no matter. Let's see where this takes me. So this is above the music room, okay. Uh, the patrols in there. Well, this leads everywhere in the house, it seems like. Stairway. Torches, where's those flares again? They might as well be of use, right? I can manage without them, but other people uh, watching might be better off with some flares. Some light to guide them. Hello. There's an upper area to so that, that. I bet that connects to the attic. This is the foyer. Right. Three flares left. Let's look at this upper area. Stuck. It looks like an attic. Hello. Somebody asleep up here? What's that? Hey! Hold it right there! The heck? The heck? Uh, Ow! Don't be so cheery when my friends arrive. I'm already not so cheery. How did you just wake up? Just instantly. I'll find you. Just you wait. Ouch, that hurt, man. Not cool. Gotta be around here somewhere. And I don't have any flash bombs or anything, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna me, you get him from behind. He's just like instantly stood up. Right now he's just gonna stand there watching, isn't he? Hmm. I have a noisemaker. What is a bag of black beans for? I don't know. Obviously for use somewhere. Well, that was not very effective, was it? Think you're so smart? Quick! Some tappers in here! He saw me, of course. I'll find you. Just you wait. So he didn't react to the noises, he only reacted Where'd to seeing me. Which is go? even weirder given the way he woke up. We'll see blood! We'll see you. 
sleeping again. God, he just heard the commotion from down through that grate as well. That's just great. Well, let's hope. Hello. Let's hope that I can't come up here to the attic easily. If someone comes looking, I will be in difficulties. Another noise make it great. Just what I needed. Um, maybe that's it. Maybe that's supposed to be a loose board creaked. Except it didn't creak. So I certainly didn't hear it creak. Apparently that's what working. Another rope arrow, flash bomb, water arrow. Okay. These don't open, so they're just there to transmit noise and be as annoying as possible for a sneaky thief. Brent, Leroy's gonna fire you if you don't get down from there right now. Some useless stinking taffy you are. Did you bring provisions or something? How long do you plan on staying up there? We need you down here. Brent, when you've finished your little nap, even though you're supposed to be on duty, please return the ladder so people can actually get up to the attic again. Thanks in advance. I see. Very nice. Oh. So this was the attic access. I didn't even notice this. I've been in that room. Didn't even notice the hole. The hole. Right. Well, I guess we've got the attic. Ticked off our list then. The attic has exposed roof beams. I mean, it does, but I don't know that they're helpful to us. Wow, what was that? I just need to... Blue. <laughs> Nothing, nothing wedged on these beams, is there? No. Right, so Brent should have been napping heavily, but somehow woke immediately. And now he's going to nap for a while longer. Hello, what's this here? Ah, Brent's little stash. That's cool, I can put it back again, I like that. Alright. Is there anything else I want from the attic or from that passageway? I think the passageway just took me to the foyer and stairs. Which is okay, but it's probably better to come back through here. As in, less likely to get in trouble. Uh, what are my objectives now? I've still got to get the hammer. I still haven't found a way, but I need to get back to the basement. Because in the basement... It was just in from the kitchen, right? Southern end was the kitchen. Down, down through there, actually. Which means I should be able to reach the stairway pretty easily from here. Indeed. We can just go down the stairs and get to the kitchen that way. Ma'am, you, are you seriously just gonna stand here? This is. You know I need to get out of that door there. And you know you, I'm gonna be seen. Planning on having to knock you on the head, but if you will run and scream and alert guards, then... Well, yeah, you can have a nice rest on the sofa.
Basement access was from the kitchen, right? I'm not misremembering that. Yes, eastern end, which I'm at the wrong end, of course. Gee, I must have imagined it. Here we go, basement access. Oh, wait. Before we do that... There's the bathroom right there, which has... Which was the one with the private locker? You don't... You got the private locker key. Maybe I should be checking that out, too. What are we doing? We've got one moss. Close the door to get the sound down. We have a private locker key, we might as well use it, right? And he has some money and, as expected, the secret switch. Uh, not so secret anymore, is it? Oops, somebody dropped the private locker key in the bath. Okay, does this give us access? Oh, this is going to give us access to the hammer, right? To the hammer. Right? To the hammer, right? Hammer right area. Hello, that looks like a golden hammer to me. Now... Might give us access to the hammer room, but it's not going to give us access to the hammer itself, so that's a problem. This is what I'm looking for. It is, but it's also protected. I do not understand this protection system. I will destroy the balance while I'm here. Sure, it's not going to work if I try and take it, and I don't have the health to risk it. You know, to do the learning exercise. So we're going to have to find out some information about that, and I guess basement might be where that happens, I don't know. Going back to the basement. the key. What are these other doors? What has been going on in here? I don't know. Someone was sleeping down here and drinking, which is certainly strange. Oh, there are caves down there. Where's my key? Hmm. A couple of people sleeping down here. So I could maybe get through that. Seems questionable. Who is down here? That was footsteps. I 
don't seem to be coming this direction. Who's there? Oh. Somebody with a key? Just my imagination, I suppose. Is it just a guard? Yeah, I wish someone would let me not know what's going on as well. I don't understand what this place is all about. Waiter seems to be the only guard in the area. Warning, this door is remaining closed and locked at all times because of a high danger of collapse in the cave beyond. I expect this is probably just another way in. But why would the guests why would the guests have access to the basement? Second basement key. Left E32 gold. Bertram, 105 gold. Probably broke by now. If he runs off, use Hendrik to track him down. Sutter, 12. Hendrik, 120. Bad luck with playing cards. Old man strike at 57. Hasn't stopped by in a while. Pay him a visit soon? To discuss, increase Lord JD's share by a small percentage in exchange for the opportunity to bring in more guests and additional clientele. Let's see. I'm running a secret gambling uh, establishment here. Let's have some of those what? watches out, shall we? Okay. A little less doors to the face, please. Have any of the good stuff? That looks like a healing potion you've got up there. Yeah, I'll have that. Thank you. In fact, I'll have that right now. Oh, that's refreshing. Okay, he walks around this table, and there's a chest in the corner. Light is unnerving because it's unclear to me how much I would be illuminated by it. Oh, it's a broken chest. Okay, it's not not something he's guarding. And that's empty. There's no money on the roulette table. Dang. Someone is poking around here who shouldn't be. Hey! Gonna let me see you! You're done for! So he just reacted to the door being opened, I think. Come on now. Which was strange because it was pitch dark. He shouldn't have seen it opening. Good news is if they just go back to their business there, 
and leave me alone, I can leave them alone. There's nothing down here, but down this side there's a little lever. I wonder what that does. Oh. Broken arrow. Another flash bomb. Cool. Hello, guild members. Here's the gist of what I was able to get Lord Dumont to agree to. He will designate the previously discussed area of his basement for a gambling den for our guild to use between dusk and dawn. His personal guards will leave the members of the guild be as long as we limit our activities within this designated section of the basement. For each night that his property is used, we have to supply a list of those present, both from within the guild and outside, to his secretary, Isaac. He has the right to refuse entry to guests if he has valid reasons to do so, whatever that means. As an additional condition, Lord Dumont added, as compensation for the use of my property, I will take half of all winnings that are generated by your guild's gambling activities. The rest is for the guild to invest as you see fit, although I would like to suggest that the profits are invested for the good of the guild, not that of individual members. Furthermore, I would like to make clear that I reserve the right to increase my share of the profit annually in proportion to a possible decline in my purchasing power, if I deem so necessary. I don't quite know how that last condition will pan out, but I've agreed to it so that we have a deal for the time being. With the inspector of the city watch present in our district as of late, the steel also gives some of our members the opportunity to lay low for a while. You are all to observe these conditions so that we as a guild all benefit from this agreement. Should run over. Ah. Well, if this is the guild's half of the winnings, it's going to be my half then. Stuck on the edge there. Okay, well, let's just close that up again. Let's. No need just to let them know that we know about the secret. And this is going to be another basement door key, right? Yeah. Right. Did it come here before? I. Don't think we did. I would have got a gas arrow. That would have been nice. I would have used that on our fellow of the hard to hit helmet head. So where is this connector? Oh, this must be the servants' quarters then. Attention, all house personnel. The key to one of our display cases has been misplaced. I trust that if we all take time to search for it, we'll be able to find it ere long. But mark my words, consequ consequences will be dire if the key should fall into the hands of, say, one of our guests in the basement. Lord Demand and I look forward to seeing the key return shortly. Thank you for your cooperation. Isaac, Secretary to Lord Demand. Okay, but did one of the servants have the key? Ah, that's what this window is. Right. Take a look at that upper shelf. Anything on the upper shelf? No. Anything on the mantelpiece? It doesn't look like it. And that goes to the foyer. Timothy, I'm concerned about the Lord's state of mind as of late. He's been so caught up in trying to find buyers for his curiosities. Normally his wife Jacqueline is able to calm him down a bit in times like these, but lately he has been snapping at the staff more and more. And I don't like those new guards he's hired recently. They have such an unscrupulous aura about them. I feel as if the staff have to walk on their toes around here lately. And another thing, why does the Lord think it necessary to have his own private locker in the staff bathroom downstairs? You know, I was asking the same thing. He has his own private bathroom on the first floor. He doesn't even use ours. Or at least I think he doesn't. I did see him go down there once or twice, though. I'm thinking about taking a week off, to get away from here and get some rest. Maybe it's just me and I'm just stressed out a bit. Please make sure you'll also take care of yourself. We'll talk soon. Ethel. <laughs> Ethel, you need to be careful because you're on the verge of discovering a secret that would be unhealthy for you to discover, I believe, given the way that people are talking about uh, 
things. On the other hand, the, the uh, letter itself mentioned our guests downstairs. So it seems to be an open secret in the household anyway. Hmm. Okay, but how do we get the hammer then? Anything hidden in this chimney? Doesn't look like it. Uh, so the basement was not the key to the hammer. Hmm. Just the library on the stairway. First floor south locked door. First floor. Safe in the bedroom. We don't have we don't know what have either of those keys. Bathroom we got a locked locker. But we didn't find the key to the safe. Maybe it's opened with a switch, not a key, I don't know. First floor south there's a locked door. Which I don't think I've got a key for either. Right, that gets us back to the vents. Uh, this is this is the main guy's bedroom. Okay. So the safe, there's a safe in here, right? In his office here. No, this is a bathroom. There's strange noises actually. Bathroom of strange noises. Um, no, Northwest was the safe. Safe in the bedroom. Oh no, it is here. It's not like he's hidden the left key around here somewhere. That would be unusual. What keys do we actually have? We got the basement key, we got the private locker key. John himself did not have a key on him. Huh. Private locker key surely is not the safe key. That would be absurd and also annoying. Alright, well let us Cut back across. And this is the library. I don't think there's any new secrets to be found, but There's the staircase. I wish I wish I knew where all these light wires went. Oh wait, was I just here? Just I just came up with these freaking stairs. Alright, that's fine. We can get back to the southern egg area by going through his bedroom again. Just going out onto his bedroom balcony and around. It's the safest way of getting there, I guess. Least likely to encounter guards or unfortunate falls to my death. Key to the safe be. Does Lady Jacqueline have anything under her pillows? No. 
I guess it's wise to check, isn't it? It's just a bathroom. Ah, oh, was this the locked door that we couldn't open? So I don't actually have to private lock key on me, right? It's not gonna be that. I mean, I can try breaking the door down. Let's give it a go. Too strong. There it goes. Right, an office. No, it's another bedroom. Bedroom with an office. Safe key. Okay, that's what I need. Hello. Dear Isaac. Oh, this is Isaac's room. Firstly, we would like to thank you for your submission to our society's exhibition. Unfortunately, we feel that war and the rain and blood is not a good fit for the mood we aspire to embrace. In our earlier correspondence, where you mentioned your work was about the realities of war and politics, we surmised it would be something like a romantic caricature with a subtle message, like a couple holding hands between the pillars of a fallen kingdom. Instead, you submitted something that we, in all honesty, can only describe as crude, bloody, and explicit. We regret to inform you that our Society for the Preservation of Joy in the Arts strives for innocence and purity and pursues the smile of the viewer without making them shudder or reel in horror. We are wholeheartedly committed to inhibiting the evil artist. He who seeks to taint the pure souls of the simple folk. We do not condone artists snickering and giggling behind their hands while innocent onlookers wince at the sight of their hateful works. With all due respect, we do not feel your wit for work fits our way of thinking, and we hereby request that you stop submitting your work to our exhibitions. With best regards, K. Brockhurst, A. Pinsdale, and Y. Pertwee, curators for the Museum of Modern Art, but happy so that everyone can enjoy. <laughs> ah... Also, um, yes, Bron Brox Brockhurst, Finsdale, and Fatui, I recognize that reference as well. I actually uh, just rewatched that movie a couple of weeks ago for uh, the first time in several years. <sighs> Hello? The book that was never found by Kay Trimus. Well, uh, let's not mention that it was there, shall we? Keep its myth intact. <sighs> yeah, so Isaac had the key to the safe, which is interesting. I mean, he's the secretary, but... Do you trust the secretary with the key to the safe? I mean, you know people in this town. Alright, so... First floor, south lock door, done. Safe, we've got the safe key. Let's go, let's go back to the bedroom. And open the safe. And see what we find in there. And maybe that will be the key to getting the hammer as well. Or at least understanding what the uh, security system there is. <laughs> <laughs> a small version of the big globe up there, okay. Just loot. Alright, you know what? In that case, we can uh, lock it up again. So I guess I'm going to have to experiment with my uh, life and limb about getting back, getting to that hammer. I mean, I've got holy water. Maybe, maybe blessing the thing with holy water is going to uh, remove the trap? I don't know. Seems unlikely, but... You know, maybe I should have used holy water on that uh, first artifact before I picked it up. I could actually put it on the ground and try that. Maybe I will. 
That's Isaac's room. We've dealt with that. So I was trying to get down to the ground floor again. Because on the ground floor... Somewhere... And now I've forgotten where... It was west, right? Oh, of course, the private, the private locker. Was... Don't mind me, ma'am. Was not the access to the uh, gambling den. That was the basement. Private locker was the access to the hammer. Yes. Okay. Is our final objective. Let's see if we can get it done. So where's my cursed artifact? Cursed relic. I can't drop it. Okay. I was going to try dropping it and see if I could holy water that at the same time as trying a holy water here, but you know, let's just try the holy water here. No. Nope. Ah! Ah! And that is pretty deadly. Okay. So how do I turn off this security system? I haven't seen a single note or anything about it. Just like destroy the statues. Hmm. I look for a hidden switch somewhere. And there wasn't one behind the banners. I don't know, and I have seen nothing to suggest how that's going to work. But you know what? I think I'm going to go have to look it up. So I guess I must be blind because I looked up a hint and the hint said check the basis of both of these and I'm sure I was standing here looking right at this but no maybe I was Looking up too high. There's a bloody switch right there. That doesn't seem to have done anything. Is this one the same? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was far simpler than I thought. Tool ceremonial hammer. We have you. No idea what the bag of black beans is about. There was some comments in the thread about it. I'm mentioning it. Uh, I feel like that's probably another secret in the mission that I'm not going to find. So I think we're done here. Just need to get out. I think our best way out... Hmm... Well, we can go out by the sewers, right? Why not? Since we found that as a way in before, we might as well take it as a way out. There's only the one archer out here, so it should not be too much of a threat. Make sure we got breath potions handy if we need them. Shouldn't. Should be fine. I mean, you should really be able to make it out in one go without the press potions, even. I think. Well. <laughs> Nope, I took a wrong turn and came to the the dead end, which is nearly a dead end for me too. 
Good work, Garrett. Well done. You're an expert swimming thief, you know that? Ah, here we are. Okay, so there's the one guard down here. To be wary of. Well, he does not seem to be in this part. Oh, he's coming back. All right. Station alarm, and here we are, ready to grab this pipe and get back out, back to where we're going. Sure, we missed a ton of stuff. Apparently, quite a lot. Of Come on, go. You can mantle that, can't you? There you are. Not sure how he mantles that edge, but he does. And uh, back to where we started, which was here, the way we leave Spire, Spire Place, whatever the name was, I forget. Spire Strand? No, Spire... Spire Stead, that's it. Thank you. Stats. We missed seven secrets, found one out of eight. Okay, not good at all, and... Uh, 1,500-odd loot missed as well. Pretty typical. What is discovered by enemy 3? I think a bunch of those were in the pile in the... Uh, in the parlor. Oh, well. That was these unfortunate ones. I... have to say, I do not know what the title is referring to. Um... Yeah. No idea. But, um, that was it. Thanks very much for watching. And, uh, I'll see you in here next time for another mission.